Last time, we featured the Plaz-1 Scorcher, the most expensive weapon in Helldivers 2, requiring well north of 1,000 medals to unlock. The consensus was, you guys want way more gun reviews like that. So we're here today with one of the most overlooked weapons in Helldivers 2, one that might truly surprise you, as it did me. The Slugger is a modified shotgun which fires massive single-shot slugs in a concentrated area. This makes it the most powerful single-target weapon in the game. The Slugger is less shotgun and more mid-range sniper rifle. It completely subverted my expectations, so today we're going to thoroughly test it against an array of enemy units, both Terminid and Automaton, to find out whether this thing has its place in your arsenal alongside the Meta Breaker shotguns. Then at the end, I'll give you my impressions as to whether it's worth using. The SG-8S Slugger is a modified Punisher shotgun, firing heavy, high-damage slug rounds, perfect for punching big holes in big targets. It has light armor penetration, and perhaps most interestingly of all, the rounds are reloaded one at a time, but we'll get back to that soon. It has a damage output of 280, a round capacity of 16, recoil of 110, and a fire rate of 80. Firstly, the gun's reload menu literally has no options, so it's a completely ignorant point-and-shoot weapon. Aim at the thing you want to delete and press the trigger, usually only once. It one-shots all light terminated units. This means the scavengers, pouncers, and hunters. The only disadvantage is that due to its lack of AoE, you'll be firing on one enemy at a time. The unexpected advantage, however, is that much like the railgun, it can penetrate multiple enemies. Here, you can see me taking out three scavengers in one shot. It can even one-shot the rank-and-file warriors if you aim at the head. This makes it an amazing choice for punching through mid-tier units. Brood Commanders go down in an amazing two shots to the head, only one quarter of the rounds required by the much more expensive Scorcher. The impressively armoured Hive Guards go down in three shots directly to the armour plating. Stalkers and Bile Spewers go down in two shots to the head as well, making the shotgun an absolute powerhouse for taking down everything but the heavily armoured targets. I like it. Move, move, move. <laughs> Can't wheelie. Charges using the stripped leg armor approach take anywhere from three to five rounds. I'm still not sure what causes the variance here, but whatever the case, the slugger can absolutely melt through armor stripped charger limbs. Shooting it in the butt is a different story, however, as you'll be there eating through your rounds unnecessarily. Unfortunately, it can neither penetrate nor strip the armor off the charger for you. I would give the slugger a miss when fighting Bile Titans. Like most primaries, your rounds simply bounce off anything other than its underside. Stick to airstrikes and your trusty railgun here. The interesting thing about the slugger is that it's reloaded one round at a time. This is a double-edged sword because reloading its capacity takes quite a long while, but on the other hand, you can shoot at mid-reload. I find this insanely useful when doing firing retreats, as you don't have to kite around while stuck in a reload animation. It also means you won't be wasting half your mag when reloading it partially, which makes it extremely ammo efficient. You can literally reload it after every small engagement. Speaking of ammo efficiency, the Slugger is not a great utility weapon for clearing out objectives such as egg clusters, because you're wasting a single slug per egg. While the Scorcher was able to completely delete them with its AoE explosion, the Slugger is far more wasteful and laborious for this. It also can't set alight ammo depots in lower difficulty automaton missions, giving it less overall utility. All in all, I found the Slugger impressively useful against the Terminids. What it lacks in firing spread, it more than makes up for in punch. You can absolutely melt through the mid-tier armoured units where a gun like the Breaker Incendiary would waste away most of its ammo while they continue to charge you.
I'd recommend pairing it with a Gatling Sentry, Cluster Bomb, or Laser Drone to handle the light adds, because you don't want to be overwhelmed while using this primary. I can't wait to compare this gun's performance to all the new guns coming in the new Warbonds trees this month, which we'll be featuring the moment they drop. Make sure you're subscribed not to miss it. Believe it or not, less than 1% of the channel's viewers are subscribed, so you guys just aren't getting notified when we drop these videos. Against the automatons is where things change up a bit. The slugger tends to be a mixed bag against the robots, so let's dive in. As expected, it takes down all light units in a single shot, at impressive distance no less. The round begins to drop at just over 100 meters, so if you plan to do any sniping, make sure to account for this. Even Devastators can be taken out in a single shot, assuming you land a perfect headshot. Otherwise, you'll be needing to land anywhere between 3 to 5 rounds to take them out. Berserkers are much the same story. The Slugger absolutely melts through them, especially if you land headshots. Striders are where the gun begins to show its limitations, as the slugger unfortunately doesn't have the punch to penetrate their frontal armor. This makes it a worse general purpose utility weapon than the Scorcher, whose AoE explosion damage penetrates the armor and takes the striders out in frontal assaults. It's a similar story with hulks. No amount of headshots will penetrate their armor, so you'll have to aim for those vents at the back. The good news is that the slugger melts through these weak spots, so assuming you have comrades to kite them, the slugger is still a viable option. Ready to liberate. Like most primaries, it can hammer away at tank and turret weak spots, but ideally you'll be using airstrikes, railguns, autocannons, or other higher caliber rounds for this. Only reserve the slugger when absolutely necessary. The gun's extremely high accuracy, even at mid-ranges, makes it an overall great choice for fighting the automatons. Assuming you have a railgun or other means to deal with striders, it's a very complete weapon that can brutalize the rank-and-file units thrown at you in higher difficulties. I would rate the slugger as a superior option to the scorcher against terminids, and as a viable alternative for the automatons. It really depends what style of weapon you prefer, but for me personally, I really enjoy the added punch and accuracy of the slugger. The manual reload is also super handy in getting you out of some very sticky situations alive. What do you think? Have you tried it yourself? Let me know, and I'll see you for the next weapon review.